Hello everybody and welcome to the 70th episode of um, Mr. J's Geek Corner. The place we talk about anything and everything that is geek will be TV, comics, movies, video games. And y'all pardon my voice today. I've been battling some allergies and kind of making my voice a little bit deeper and hoarser than usual. So bear with me here. If I cough or anything a little, <laughs> if, I, if I have a few voice problems, so bear with me. Um, y'all probably have seen recently a lot of big event announcements in DC and mostly Marvel Comics lately. And, um, and to get right to the point, um, originally this episode was going to document just Marvel's um, big event announcements because over the last, I'm going to say about three, three and a half weeks, possibly the last month, Marvel has about non-stop been announcing event after event after event that was going to come like as, as coming next year. The first being another Secret Wars, and um, I affectionately call it Secret Wars Three. And um, basically, the premise of that almost sounds like um, almost sound like the original Secret Wars, but I'll get more into that later. But that wasn't the only announcement they announced. Uh, no, um, event they announced. They also announced um, Civil War, another Civil War, um, Age of Ultron versus Marvel Zombies, um, X Men Years of Future Past, Planet Hulk, another Planet Hulk, another Armor Wars, and another House of M, another Infinity Gauntlet, another Old Man Logan, um, an event called that just simply called Ultimate The End. Which they thinking is going to be they they they're speculating it's going to be the end of the Ultimate Universe, the Ultimate Marvel Universe, um, another Age of Apocalypse, another Future Imperfect, which is a Hulk story, um, Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows, which is kind of which the way the promo image showed it, it was um, um Peter Parker, Mary Jane Watson, and a little girl that looked kind of like Mary Jane, which going to be interpreted as it's going to be their daughter. They're married and have a daughter. And um, another Avengers vs. X-Men. One called X-Men 92. And then the, the last of the announcements was a poster that simply said Spring 2015 everything ends. Which makes you think what's that all about? Originally, this show was going to be talking about the unoriginality in which Marvel was going about this event. It's like they were they were reliving old events all summer long. But turns out there's more to it than that. Turns out every bit of this ties into this Secret Wars event, which they made a big announcement video of that wound up on YouTube. And put they debuted on their YouTube channel. And basically, it goes as follows. There's a battle world... Another battle world, just like the original Secret Wars. And on every country or continent of that planet is going to be a piece of Marvel history. Like, one continent is going to have Civil War, the Civil War world. Um, another one's going to have Age of Ultron versus Marvel Zombies, which never happened. And they just made this up. There's supposed to be another one I forgot to mention that involved in humans, but I don't know if it's going to be involved in Secret Wars or not. But every one of these events I just said is like a re, almost like a rehashing of an old story. Is actually an individual piece of of the multiverse or something. Um, an individual piece of the Marvel multiverse is like everyone of them has their own world uh, is going to have their own piece of of um, battle world in which they're going to all all versions of those characters are going to battle it out. And, and that's what this new Secret Wars is. It's almost like a another version of an old story. And still, that's almost a sign like Marvel has officially run out of ideas. But that still, there's more to it than that. I mean, it sounds pretty interesting. But also, but what made me change the story was the fact that all this, what made me change the, my subject of the show today wasn't that, just that. It was the fact that now DC has announced this big event that they've been building towards. And I've probably mentioned it before on a Geek Corner Minute or another Geek Corner that they have revealed that there, that there is another Brainiac 
on this planet that he calls the Blood Moon, and he dropped the new 52 Brainiac into a chamber in which there are shards of a bottle shards of other worlds, supposed dead war, uh, dead worlds of the multiverse. Not multiverses of multiverses in that world, and one of them happens to be the pre-52 DC universe. And now they've up and announced their big event for next year. They're, they're, all this futures end and world uh, Earth two worlds end is building towards, and everything you've been seeing building towards is going to be an event called Convergence. And yes, Brainiac is the main villain of this. But there's also going to be a new villain introduced called um, Talos, or Telos, or I think it's Telos. And he's going to be introduced in all this, and all this, and and they and, and they told the main premise of this is that he's t- essentially taking pieces of other Earths in the multiverse and is putting them together on that um, Blood Moon world. He's basically putting them together on that Blood Moon world as an experiment. It's like they're supposed to interact or, another interpretation, fight. And what does that sound like? It sounds just like what Marvel's doing with Secret Wars, which leads me to um, led me to either say, who's ripping off who here? That's what, that's what has led me to my, changing my subject of today's show from Marvel running out of ideas to... Marvel uh, is, is, is to who's ripping off who here? I mean, all along DC has been building to. I for one have a leaning towards DC, so I'm saying, one well, here we go again with Marvel ripping off DC, and that's exactly the way it looks. I mean, some folks say, or uh, folks are saying after Marvel's announced all this, old oh, DC's ripping them off with convergence. To me, that ain't the case at all, because if you look at the clues that's been placed in DC Comics all along, this is what DC has been building to, to this big Convergence event next April and May, with, um, like I think it's like 48 books that's supposed to be tying into it. Like one in Maine in particular that they've announced today, they're supposed to be, it's supposed to be really pre-52 heavy in that they're supposed to be um, pre fifty. There's probably one called Convergent Superman, which is the pre fifty two True Blue one and only Superman, and his and his and his wife Lois Lane, who is now expecting their first child finally. And me, I can't personally can't wait for that. I I was like <laughs> when I saw it, and was like Batgirl Harley. I mean, it's all of the characters you know and love and their original glory on this world, on this blood moon world of Brainiac. And a lot of them that sound like to me, they're in confrontation with Flashpoint characters, like Flashpoint Wonder Woman, Flashpoint Aquaman, Flashpoint Catman, all of those. And and there's even supposed to be a character called the... They called the extremists on this world too, because last time I heard the extremists, it had to do with Lord Havoc. Their other Lord Havoc from Countdown to Final Crisis. But to me, it sounds like it's built. It's been it's been building for some time. But this whole thing with Marvel, it don't sound like it's been building to that. I of course I have been keeping up with Marvel as much as I have DC, but I haven't hardly heard anything out of Marvel to even merit, like, why are they doing this? Who is going, they're asking the question, is Beyonder behind this? Is it a new villain? And I said, like, all I gotta say is, if they had, if they had said Beyonder, but a new villain's supposed to fight her into it, it would be exactly what Convergence is gonna be. It already sounds like, proverbially, the same story, virtually the same exact story told by both of them, just with maybe a little tweak here and there. To not sound exactly the same, but it sounds exactly the same, and um, it's just it boggles my mind as like why is Marvel always trying to rip off DC, and especially it's even more of a rip off from Marvel because they're essentially taking some of their most 
I mean, they're taking some of the most famous stories and they're slapping them together into a version of another famous story they did once. Well, actually twice because they did two Secret Wars, but I'm mistaken, they did another one called Secret War, but I think that was something completely different. But essentially, it's just like Re Secret Wars rehashed for at the very beginning. I'm surprised they didn't try to put a Secret Wars world, reality world, onto this Secret Wars world. I'm surprised they didn't try to do that. But if you look at what DC is doing, uh, as I said before, they, they've been building to this. You look at the end of Superman Doom number two, and which I couldn't help but see the end page of that. I mean, I couldn't help but see it. Um, I couldn't help but want to take a peek, uh, take a peek at that last page. And it was, it just really excited me to see the real Superman, not just that, but other Earths that I like so good, and a lot of other folks like so good back in. The pages of DC again after been absent for like three years. Um, with this new 52 hokum up there. Um, but basically, what DC's doing is they're taking Earths from other, there's just like pieces of other multiverse, uh, other Earths in the multiverse, and they're putting them there. And as I said, it sounds exactly the same. And Marvel's story sounds exactly the same to this, except it ain't like story realities. It ain't like they're taking the story of, um, um, it ain't like they're taking the future imperfect story. It ain't like DC's taking like Death of Superman and Break Into the Batman and um, Wonder Woman being deposed as as Wonder Woman and. How Jordan become parallax and all that, and putting it on an Earth. It ain't like that at all. Or like they're taking like crisis on infinite Earth, and they're taking infinite crisis and final crisis and identity crisis and um, zero hour, and all putting them on one Earth as convergence. They ain't doing that. that but that sounds like what exactly what Marvel's doing. Like they're taking. Uh, I said their DC has come out with many a great story. But what they've done is like Elseworld stuff, and that's essentially what they've made their multiverse out of is multi is um is um Elseworlds stories, and also and, but um essentially what Marvel's doing is they're taking is they're making it sound like that every one of those stories is doing something very similar very similar to DC only they're taking um their big stories they've done. In the exception of a few, and are putting them together on one Earth, expecting them to battle it out. All those versions of the same characters battling it out, and they're essentially doing that. As, either way, it comes right down to Marvel's ripping off DC again. To me, to me, it is. I mean, they're, they're, why does Marvel have to keep doing that? I mean, they've they've been doing all of this stuff. For I mean, they've made this big hoopla over. Um, Falcon becoming Captain America and Iron Man becoming um, an evil Lex Luthor type and um, Hulk becoming a super genius and wanting to and basically turning against his friends and Thor becoming a woman and um, a woman become a mystery woman becoming Thor who they have not I don't think they revealed yet. I mean, doing all these big huge changes to the big names at Marvel and they're doing all this. And they're still in the progress of doing this whole thing with um the Spider Verse thing with like um all these Spider Men and women that are coming over out of the multiverse and teaming up with main Peter Parker. They're still doing all that, and yet they're still doing, and yet they're going to do this whole thing where with um Secret Wars next year. And they have not been building to this, to best of my knowledge. If they have, correct me, and uh, correct me. Give me the references. Put them in a the comment box. Drop, drop a comment in the comment box below, and please tell me where they have been building to this because I haven't seen any build up to the Secret Wars thing next year. As opposed to DC, who has been, who is in the midst of all their, um, who in the midst of all the futures in and Earth Two Worlds in and Superman doomed and everything has been dropping hints here and there and little bits and pieces here and there 
leading to convergence. They have been leading to their event. Sure, Marvel got the drop on DC by announcing theirs first, but they basically wind up coming out with the exact same thing again. It's like Marvel always has to try to one up DC, except this time you've got two of the exact same event coming out. Just different characters and done maybe a little bit different way. And it just so happens that um in case of like Marvel and stuff, it's just games like Marvel and stuff, they claim that this is their Earth, main Earth as opposed to DC who's on a new 52 Earth with the real Earth um, in, the mi in the mix in um, Convergence as one of the Earths in Convergence. I mean, it's just, it boggles my mind. I mean, it excites me what is happening, but at the same time I look at Marvel and it's like, Quit trying to rip them off. I mean, I've already accused DC of ripping off Marvel in ter terms of this new 52 is basically a Marvelization of... It's like a Marvelization of the DC characters. And what does Marvel do? They haul off and Marvelized Marvel. They went and, re and, and they went and re-Marvelized Marvel characters. They went and re and went and redone everything to try to rip off DC's rip off of their ri of them. And DC tries to Marvelize everything, and then what Marvel hauls off and hauls off and does the same thing to their character. And all the and yet, and all of Marvel has done ever since is relaunch everything. There have been a gazillion number one Marvel comics. Over the like last two or three years since Marvel now started. And it's, to me, it's just like enough already. And then you got this whole Secret Wars thing about time um, DC announces Convergence. And you look at it, it's like it's the same premise. It's the same story. Except maybe a couple of differences. It's still the same story premise that they're putting all these different Earths and all these different vert pieces and versions of the, of the universe on one planet to interact and battle it out except with DC except with DC it's different it's different earths it's actually different pieces of earth with Marvel it's different stories they're taking stories from their own history and making a and making a um, convergence type event out of this and to me, it's just like, Marvel's trying too hard. Way too hard. And as I said, my original idea for this um, episode was going to be, when I was originally looking at it, I was thinking the whole time, Marvel has really run out of ideas that they're going to rehash um, all their old stories like this. They're going, they're, going to do, they're going to do another one of these same stories, but then... They announce what the whole thing is going that this whole thing is involved in the Secret War somehow, and I look at it and it still to me looks like Marvel has run out of ideas, because Marvel has just got done with an event called Original Sin, and to me that was very original. If you pardon the pun, that was very original, but now they're going to do something that's complete a complete and total ripoff. Of what DC is going to be doing at exact same time, just about maybe just a couple months apart. I mean, I'm gonna say it right now. I ain't gonna be reading Secret Wars. I might keep up with it, but I ain't gonna um, read it. I would much rather read Convergence because of one simple reason. If you give me a moment. I think y'all know where I'm leading with this. Keep in mind, I do not own this. This is... I mean, keep in mind, this is... This image is from DC Comics. So, I do not own this. This is DC Comics. But do not get mad at me. I saw this image this morning. That's what's got me so excited about convergence is seeing that, seeing this again. 
hashtag, or as I posted this morning, hashtag the real Superman return, the classic Superman returns. 2015, and I cannot wait. To me, Convergent sounds like so much, a so much better story than um, what Secret Wars is going to be, in my personal opinion. And I would personally, I would rather read Convergence than Secret Wars because, as I said before, Secret Wars is not going to be nothing but a nearby beat. Is never is going to be. It looks to me nothing more than a very repackaged, sly version, a uh, sly ripoff of Convergence. But what do y'all think? Well, that's just my opinion. What do y'all think? Y'all think I'm out of line? Y'all, y'all, do y'all agree? Or right, which which event are you looking forward to the most? Um, let me know. As always, um, drop drop a comment below in the comment box. Um, let me know. Um, let me know which event you're doing, which event you're going to be reading next year, and if you agree or disagree with what I've said here today. And I guess that's all for, that's all for this week's edition of Miss J's Geek Corner. As always, um, if you have a comment about the show whatsoever, co drop me a comment in the comment box. I'd love to hear what y'all have to say. Um, like, subscribe, share and tell with all your friends. And if y'all have any um, ideas about uh, about things, a uh, subject or a topic you want to hear me talk about on the show, drop me a comment in the comment box. I'm always looking for fresh, new ideas and things and subjects to talk about on the show. I would love to hear from you. I would love to hear your ideas, and you never know when it may be made to an episode of Mr. J's Geek Corner. So, uh, drop me a comment and drop your ideas in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you. I would love to hear your ideas, and I'll see y'all later.